welcome back to Sharman's Kitchen. Good night one, good night all. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I wanna say welcome to my channel. I hope everybody had a wonderful day today. Um, today I'm gonna be making some butter chicken and garlic naan. And I wanna share this recipe with you guys. So if you come on down, we can cook together. So for today's um, butter chicken, I'm gonna be making some garlic naan from scratch to eat with the um the butter chicken and i'm also making some um basmati rice because butter chicken goes well with those two so in here i have some flour i'm gonna add here a um, little bit of salt some sugar and some baking soda all of that is going in and i'm gonna be adding in here two tablespoons of oil and i'm adding some coconut oil bottle open and for those of you who know coconut oil when you leave it down for a while it tends to sleep on you so mine is a little bit on the um, thick side two tablespoon and I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of plain yogurt you can leave the yogurt out but this makes the naan very nice and soft so I'm gonna mix this up a little. And you wanna knead this dough with warm water, like lukewarm water. So I think all the ingredients is mixed in. I'm gonna add water and I'm gonna start mixing my dough now. So my dough is kneaded and I'm gonna put some oil on top. I'm gonna rub oil all over on this dough. And then we're gonna leave it to sit until it raises a little. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna start working on my butter chicken. We're gonna leave this and then come back maybe um, in a few, maybe an hour or two. So I have my chicken here for my butter chicken, cut and washed with lime. I'm gonna add now some seasoning to this and I will first go in with some salt, so about a teaspoon and a half of salt. And that's, I'm gonna sprinkle that right on top. And then the next thing I wanna go in with, about two tablespoons of red chili powder. This is tablespoon I'm using. And then I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste that I freshly blend up. And then I'm gonna mix this well and leave it to marinate for about half an hour or so. And you can see that nice redness in the um, chicken already. So I'm gonna leave this and then we will come back and show the next step. So in the pan, I have two tablespoons of butter and I have two small onion chopped up. I'm gonna cook this until it's nice and translucent. And then I'm gonna add my chicken into here. So my chicken is here. Look, I really love the color. I have some other ingredients here that I'm using for the butter chicken. I have some tomato paste. I have some milk. I have some cream over here, and I'm gonna be using today the um, butter chicken spices from the pack. This is the, the brand, the national brand that I'm using. To be from scratch with your own spices, but today I'm gonna do a quick job, and I'm gonna um, just use the spice, the packet spices. So the onion is looking good. I'm gonna add my chicken into here now. And I'm going in with all that beautiful flavored chicken. I'm gonna give this a nice stir. And this is looking amazing. The color is looking really, really good. So I'm gonna let this cook up until the chicken is nice and brown. 
until I add my spices. So look how lovely this is. All the liquid from the chicken is gone. And we're going to be adding in more flavor now. So I'm going to add my pack of my packet of the um, butter chicken mix. And we want this to be nice and flavorful. So I'm going to go in with that right now. Let's see how much this looks like. A lot. I'm going to have to use half of it because I don't want to put too much spices and then it's too um, overpowering for this amount of chicken. So I put half of a packet. I'm going to add half of a tablespoon of tomato paste and we're going to start this in and then I'm going to go in with my milk and I have a cup and a half milk and all the other ingredients will be in the description box below and it's starting to look like the original thing here already I'm gonna go in with three quarter cup of cream and I have it right here so look how beautiful that is so here it is guys uh, six to seven minutes I'm gonna leave it to cook for and then this is gonna be ready in the meantime I'm gonna start with my garlic naan so here is our butter chicken. It is nicely um, cooked with nice gravy. Take it down when it's too dry because the whole the main thing for this is to have some gravy to eat because I'm making naan. And I'm gonna turn it off now and I know it's gonna thicken up. So we're gonna go to our naan dough and I'm gonna start making my naan. It's nice, really, really soft. So I want to just knead it back a little before I make my um, small ball for the individual naan. So I'm going to just knead, knead this back. Oh my God, it's so, so soft. Can you see how soft this is? Like so nice and soft. So I'm just going to knead it back for like two minutes or so or less. And then I'm going to start cooking these right away. So it's five of us, I'm gonna make one naan each. So I have one, and two, three. You can make them whatever size you want them to be, but I'm just making enough for everybody in my house. So I'm going to roll them off now. I'm going to start with a big one. I'm going to roll this one off. And then So I have it about this it, this thickness. This is what about a quarter inch? About quarter inch thick. And um I'm going to add now because this is garlic naan. I'm going to add, I'm going to add some garlic and I'm going to wet the top here so the garlic can stick on. So we want to make sure that we have enough garlic on the top. And I'm just going to sprinkle water that it's going to stick on here. And then I'm going to add some coriander on top. And now I'm going to put it on my tawa and I'll show you guys how I'm doing that. So you want to make sure that your seasoning will stay on the naan. So just roll it with your rolling pin like this to make sure that that's um, rolled in. And what you want to do now is to put some water on the back here. Because when you put it on your tawa or your roti pan, you want it to stick on your roti pan. So on the roti pan it goes. And did you hear that char song? We're gonna leave it until you see it start bubbling up. And once it start bubbling up, we're gonna start putting fire on the top part of the naan. Now we're gonna check for the bottom and this is what we want the bottom to look like. And we have to cook the top now with the, the full fire like that. We have to make sure that we're turning it all over to cook here like that. 
until the whole top is nice and brown. You can put it on medium heat and let the bottom part get that nice charred color that you, when you buy your naan, you can see it, like how this part is. So, if you have a, um, um, an iron roti pan, then you can flip, turn over your roti pan and the, the, um, the naan is gonna still be sticking on it and then you can do it like this. You can do it like this. You can flip the bottom of the pan. So this is what we're looking for. Look how beautiful that's looking. So I just have to brown up the end here. And this one is gonna be ready. We just have to brush it with some butter. And one of it is done and I'm gonna start working on the other one. So you don't need a, a nan oven to make nan. You can do it just like this on your stove. So now I'm just gonna brush this with butter. And this one here is ready. So I'm just showing another one. When you see these bubbles start popping up, then you know that it's ready to cook on the other side. We're just gonna check the bottom. This is a bigger one. Yep, that's what you want the bottom to look at, like. And then you hold it over the fire to make that nice char color and for the bottom to cook. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some more water on top. I'm just showing another one. And you can make this in your own shape, like I mentioned earlier. And I have two more, so I'm gonna put some more garlic on top here. And if you're a garlic lover, you can put more, way more garlic than I am putting. I just wanna make everybody comfortable today, so I'm putting just like a medium amount. And then you roll it in again for it to stick on. And then I wanna flip it, wet the bottom, because this is what's giving it that nice brown color on the bottom. And we're gonna go over to the stove now. So we're down to our last one now, and they're coming very nicely. So we have to flip this one and then cook it a little and then it's gonna be ready. Look at how beautiful the nans, the garlic nans look. I brushed them with the butter when they were hot. So now it's nice and very, very, it looks, it's, they're calling my name so delicious. I can't wait to dig in and let you guys know. So here are the nans, homemade nan. Guys, it's so easy, you can do this too. I have some basmati rice in the back and I have here my butter chicken. So I'm gonna garnish with my coriander and I like to put a nice generous amount. Look how beautiful that look in here with the green and the color of the butter chicken. Coriander really brings a nice flavor to the, um, to the butter chicken and I have a little bit of cream that I'm just gonna drizzle here And look how my butter chicken looks. Amazing, right? So I'm gonna play it up and let you guys know. Bon appetit! So here is my beautiful plate of basmati rice, butter chicken, and my homemade garlic naan. I'm gonna taste and let you guys know. I wanna show you guys how the naan look. And see, it's nice and soft. So it's something very simple to make, guys. I'm just going to dip in a little bit here. For all my viewers and subscribers, I'm drool drooling, but this is your mouthful. Oh, my God. I think I'm in an Indian restaurant. So good. The naan is so flavorful and nice and soft. And I have to take a mouthful with rice. So I'm going to dig in right here with this nice, flavorful mouthful to all my viewers and subscribers. Cheers. Mm. Chicken, it's cooked so nice and soft and tender. And the gravy is so rich and creamy and you, all those spices, you're really getting a hint of it and it's so delicious. Oh my God, this is so comforting. I wish you guys can taste it. 
but i want to say if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for i want to say stay safe stay blessed bye for now